Hello everyone, today I have four smartphones here with me right now and these are all mid-range smartphones that are available in Nepal. Also, we have already reviewed these smartphones so make sure you check out those reviews from the links given in the description below. So you might already know why I am here right now. Yes, I am here to test which of these smartphones charges up the fastest. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. What I will do here is check how much the devices have juiced up after a certain time. So right off the bat, the Huawei Nova 3e and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 AI have put their upper hand here due to their fast charging support, but let's see what happens. So I will start by turning on the power and starting the stopwatch. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 AI comes with a whopping 4000 mAh battery, while the Nova 3e packs a 3000 mAh cell. Likewise, the Oppo F7 and the Vivo V9 feature 3400 and 3260 mAh battery respectively. So before I say the stats, do note that I have turned on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 AI and the Vivo V9 as they didn't show off the battery percentage while charging. So, at the 32 minute mark, the Nova 3e has taken lead with 38% of charge on board, whereas the Note 5 AI certainly is the slowest due to its battery size as it has juiced up to 26%, which is not that bad at all. Now it's been 1 hour since I started charging up the device and the Nova 3e is still on the lead with 64% of charge on board. The Oppo F7 is not far behind as it has 60% of charge with this mark. Meanwhile, the Note 5 AI is not that far behind with 51% of charge on board. So after an hour and a half of charging the phones, the Vivo V9 has 84% of charge with the Oppo F7 not so far ahead with 85% of juice. Likewise, the Nova 3e is still on the lead with 90% of charge and the Note 5 AI is still impressing with 77% of battery. The Huawei Nova 3e has just fully charged in around 1 hour and 53 minutes and has become the winner of the fast charging comparison. It had taken the lead right from the start and it never really looked like it would lose. So, around the same time, the Vivo V9 has done really well and it has made a comeback as it leads this 3-horse race with 97% of battery. The Oppo F7, which was right behind the Nova 3e, has fallen down the order as it has only 95% of juice. The Redmi Note 5 AI is still on the last position with 87% of battery. Six minutes later, the Note 5 AI has really improved as it gained 4% of charge during that time. The V9 is still in pole position with 98% of battery. And after another 6 minutes of time, the V9 has fully charged up and become the second in this comparison. It really caught up to the competition nearly after 1 hour and 50 minutes and took the title right under Oppo's nose. It's 2 hours and 15 minutes now and you can really see that Oppo has been charging at a slow rate for some time now. This is the perfect example of how phones cut down on the current after they charge up to 90%. This is the same reason why the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 AI has already charged up by 2 hours and 28 minutes, but Oppo is still stuck with 99% of charge. Even though the Note 5 AI has 6000 mAh more battery, it is finished third in the comparison test. A few moments later. And finally, at the 2 hour 33 minutes mark, Oppo has charged up fully. It took a lot of time surely, but it's definitely Oppo's own decision to go with the feature of cutting down on the current. So there you have it guys, the fastest charging smartphone in the mid-range price segment. The Huawei Nova 3e has a comparatively smaller battery size and quick charge has helped it gain the first position. Also, this was our first time making a charging comparison between various mid-range smartphones available in the market right now. If you are interested in more of such videos, please do let us know in the comment section below. Saying this, I am Pratima Adhikari and I'll take your leave for this time.